Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Modern Cube on Magic the Gathering Online by Wizards of the Coast. What do you take here in this pretty mediocre pack? Steam Vents? I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I think it's probably the best card in this pack. I'm going to Steam Vents. So many good cards. What? This is not a great pack. Elk Tears, I like that you weren't even curious as to who made that donation when it wasn't you. Even though they passed it off as you. That's pretty hilarious to me. Oh, a Misty Ring. Oh, Mind Control. Hmm. I think I like Mind Control better. Stealing things like Grave Titan. This is a much more mid rangey cube. We're stealing a big creature like a Grave Titan or a Primeval Titan could just be the end. Plus, we can probably get another Fixing Lens. I'm going to take the Mind Control. How do you feel about that? Seems fine. Good, because I took it. It's in my pack. Mike B looks slim and gray. You might notice the bloodstains on Mike's shirt today. You might. Did you figure out who Sir mix was? I knew who Sir mix was. Oh, is it Phantasm Image? Do we copy their, their Grave Titan and then steal it? Yeah, that seems good. I agree with you. Also, it's the only blue card in this pack, so unless we want to branch out a little bit, I don't, I don't feel good about it. Do not feel good. I saw your face. Why is this James Blunt song stuck in my head? Mm. Y'all beautiful, it's true. You like that jam? Oh, big frosty. Oh, big scaldy. Oh, a little, a little crypty. Elk tears is more than a single man. Elk tears is. Like... <laughs> it's very we are Negan concept, huh? I like frosty more than tarn, but I do like tarn a lot. We're not even necessarily red yet, though. I agree with you, but this gets all blue lands. That's true. But Frosty's pretty OP. I'm going to take Frosty. Frosty the Titan. Go on. That's all I got. Go on. I don't have anything else. This one hair here, this one strand of hair, is like casting a shadow down here. And it's real. It's throwing me off. I think it's a loose hair, but it's just a shadow. Yeah, I keep wanting to be like, oh, let me fix it. But it's literally just a shadow. Ooh. Big crypty. It's like they're saying, play blue. Play blue, Frank. Play blue. Is it Signet and Torrential Gear Hulk are also both good, but I'm just going to take Cryptic. The only thing you want to do with Torrential Gear Hulk is get back your Cryptic anyway, so. Hmm. Good farmland is the thing. Nimble Obstructionist, probably the pick here. I actually like Nimble Obstructionist a lot. I think there's a lot of activated abilities that you want to counter. It's alright. It's okay. I think it's better than Spell Pierce. I think it's... I almost be willing to take Entreat here. We don't have any way to set up an Entreat, though. Just do it naturally. I don't want to do Entreat naturally. You're casting Entreat the Angels. It's miserable. It's basically every mana you've ever owned in your life. Oh, Dungeon Geasts. That's a fine gentleman. That is actually a fine card. I think this card is underrated. Actually, this can be just being the main deck. You don't need to be a sideboard. Deck and Stone is decent if we're white. If you're white. I don't think we are, though. It's definitely not a Shrine of Burning. We can try Azor's Gateway. That card seems really dirtily. It draws your card every turn. Yeah, but you gotta tap it in a mana. Ooh, heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. I mean, it, it's something to do with extra lands. Which I'm fine with. Chain to rocks is really weird being in here. I agree with you, because it, it's only good in like one archetype. If you have to be like red-white. 
It is weird. Let me just take Brimstone Volley in case we are red blue. Sure. Is there GP Seattle coverage on right now? Because that's weird. Chain to the rocks. Let's find out. And y'all too. I'm not looking. I don't care about all that. You give but I want to know. Well, then go. You find out on your Can own. You, you got a telephone. Me? No, I'm not showing you anything. You pervert. Dang it. I think it's just Raging Ravine and we can be Teamer, but I don't think we're three colors with this deck. Maybe it's just Whip Flare, actually. I'll take Whip Flare. Round eight. Oh, because it's a double GP, isn't it? That's weird. A double GP? What? So it's like two events? Yeah, there's on Friday and Saturday there's one GP, and Saturday and Sunday there's another GP. Huh. Are different formats or something? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty strange. Shot through Mike B. And y'all too. Why is the song stuck in my head again? I don't know. Okay. 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 But excuse me. Funny joke. Funny joke. <laughs> I'm really proud of how well you own that. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. Temporal isolation, I guess. I get, I guess. Or den protector. We can at least play it face down. Oh, cryptologist. I actually like cryptologist. Does it like you back? Oh, Whoa! that's so good. That's a good one. Wow, that's a that's a treasure if I ever saw one. We can also play Destructive Flow, and then our Torrential Gear Hulk and our Frost Titan survive. Yeah. I actually don't hate that. Hmm. I don't like this, this pack. This pack is doo-doo brown. This is the most doo-doo brown pack I've ever seen. Ice Flow Regent, I guess? Your mother's an Ice Flow Regent. Is she? Yes. Or we can take Snapcaster, or Snapcaster. No, my card's terrible. You're terrible. Wow. Shout through the house. It might just be Ice Hall Regent. We don't actually have a reason to be red yet. <laughs> Could just take Boros Signet. That's two colors we're not. It's real oh, bad, though, because we have to, like, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, we'll just take Ice Fall Regent. Mike, honest question. What are you currently most proud of in life? Real answers only. No jokes, please. Thanks. Honesty stream. Okay. Bribery. Hey, boy. I like this, too, just in case we get Splinter Twin, but I want to take the bribery. Yeah. I don't even know if Splinter Twin is in this cube because it's banned in modern, so... That's a good question. It has to be, right, though? Because why would they have the other? I would think that. I think it's just big moles. Yeah, big moles. It's a lot of five drops, so we can... This is a three drop. I like Night Veil Spectre in the two-color deck. What about Talran? I don't hate Talran either, but we don't have that many instant sorcerers. I think we have one right now, which is literally Cryptic Command. Yeah, it's true. So, I think this guy's just better. Hey, man. Elk Tears, got, I got a question. You got an honesty stream question, bro. I don't have an answer to that. You have to be most proud of something. There's got to be something on your list that you're most proud of. My car's almost paid off. That's pretty cool. All right. See, that's something. You can't just avoid everything in life, man. You just got to deal sure with it. Sure I can. No, you clearly can't. If you didn't bring it up, I was just going to avoid it entirely. But I, yeah, I did. So well, you didn't. because you're a jerk. You're a little jerk. I'm a little jerk. Wow. Because uh, you're a little jerk. Sound off in the chat. Do you think you're? Do, do you think someone is a jerk if they force their friends to deal with life and not uh, shy away from reality? I was mostly joking. Well, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, but you, I don't think you were, though. I was. You were, but you're not, though. What is Mike currently most proud of? This <laughs> only no jokes, please. Uh, Mike actually landed a new job, and, and it took him like three days. So that was pretty sweet. I don't know why he's not. I, I don't know why I didn't mention that. So I'm gonna take threads here. 
I guess because he's a big dummy. That's why. That's that job, would be my guess. Finding jobs not that hard. Says says uh says the guy in who lives in a country with a fourteen percent unemployment. I just made it the unemployment rate. I don't know what the unemployment rate is. I think it's like eight percent. You're eight percent. Eight percent stupid. That that was that's actually not that bad. I guess. Dang it. If you're only eight percent stupid, I think you're doing pretty good. You are. Dang it. Got me again. <laughs> I, you're getting yourself. Ooh, compulsive research is a is a spicy meatball. It's a pretty it's a pretty good. Can we should be mono blue. So far. Tidings, that's your favorite. It's not. It is not. Why is the card not instant? I don't know. They think like five mana. Well, for five mana, you go. Yeah, for five mana. Boo, 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 boo. Nailed it. Did you say pack navigation here? Yeah, sure. Or is it Hinterland Harbor in case we go green? I think packed. Hey, I'll just take this guy because what the heck, right? Keeping the blue train going. Actually, if we're mono blue, maybe it's just Mutavolt. But the upside to Pester might. Yeah, you're right. This is a lot of three drops, though. Now I'm getting uncomfortable. Yeah. I like that. Uh, hey, look, your Talran came back. Hey. Now it's even better because we have Compulsive Research and Pact Navigation and a Bribbery. We probably had Bribbery at the time, actually. We did. We did. Wildfire came back. Elvish Mystic? Last pick Elvish Mystic? Really? This is all very interesting. Shot through the heart, and Mike's to blame. Mike gives everything a bad name. Rectos Ruin, what's going on, buddy? I can't even get through your YouTube video, and you're already streaming. You're providing me way too much entertainment. <laughs> get wrecked. That's what I say to you. Get wrecked, Nephrium. What's the pick here? Elspeth is pretty strong. We have no white cards though so and we passed a ton of good white cards you want to be a double white card and ruin our beautiful mana bit because we can't go like elspeth turn four and then cryptic command turn five well we could but whatever well then what's the pick do you see yourself sibling in florida in five years and i don't see myself sibling in florida in one year to be quite honest with you if not where do you see myself living i see myself living anywhere where i can get um a job opportunity where i that that is on my list of like next steps what did you say did you say something i think it's dissolve sure that's the two drop i'm just we're just taking all the blue cards right sure okay Flooded string. Oh, actually, oh, search for Ascanta. Oh, who needs fetch lands when you have uh, literally only blue cards? Search. It's got to be search, right? Sure. I like work. <laughs> you're just gonna say. Yeah, you're just gonna say sure to anything. I guess. Well, you haven't really provided a bad pick yet. Essence scatter. I actually, like serum vision is better. Do you remember all the counter spells we played against the other day? Yeah. Do you remember how miserable that was for our opponent, for us? But I don't want to be that way, guy. I want to win. The, if it, I do, if it wins this game, such a little jerk. This is so strong. You know how many good creatures in this cube? Mana leak. That's a better one. Well, too bad we're playing both. We're gonna be that guy. What are we taking out here? Probably pester mite since we don't have the combo. Um, but it also does. I like that it has flash. We'll see. You can probably cut Talrand. I think it's gotten nothing but better. 
Let's look at all the cards we have with Talrand right now. Let's see. We got one, two, three. That seems pretty good. It's maybe. Right. Maybe. It's all right. It's all right. It's just like, it's kind of slow. He's Oh, he's dirtily as hell. Make no mistake. Do not make one mistake. Are we stooping to that level? Ugh. Well, you know... Somebody has to. You give Mike B a bad name. This three drop spot's a little clogged. Just a little bit. fine card it is a fine card good lord man i like this guy a lot yeah that dude's good that dude is good he can copy planeswalkers yeah here's here comes here comes old Catman again I like Azor's Gateway better than I like Cryptologist, to be quite honest. I like Silent Departure. It's a good tempo card. I think we realized this the other day when they bounced our guy with it. Also, if we do play it and end up playing Tower and Silent Departure is pretty sweet because you get two things out of it. I'll take a body double, I guess. Take all the take all the, the blue cards, I guess. Mike and Frank, favorite colors, then least favorite colors. No joke, honesty stream. Um, favorite colors obviously are blue, black, and green, or some combination thereof. Least favorite color is red. Oh, wow. Hmm. You want to take us and scatter over serum vision? What? Oh, it got a bath. Bye. My favorite color is blue. My least favorite color is probably, probably white. I don't even hate Chasm Skulker here. Oh, not referring to magic colors. I didn't read that part. Oh. Oh, neither did I. Haha. <laughs> well, you're playing magic, so I just assumed. I just assumed. Uh, favorite real life color? Probably like a maroon. My favorite real life color would be purple. Big perps. I like variations of, of primary colors. Like, I like maroon. I like a dark, like, navy. With a pattern on it, maybe. And I also like... Uh, like an olive green. Those are probably three of my favorite uh, colors when it comes to, like, attire. Yeah, we can cut Pestermite. It's kind of... I need one more cut. I think this deck looks real sweet. I actually want to try Azor's Gateway. Being able to flip it and gain five and also do a thing is pretty good. How many clones do we have? We have Phantasmal Image, Clever Impersonator, Bribery, Mind Control. We just have a bunch of their things. We're just going to take all their things, apparently. Uh, maroon is like a red. Maroon is like a dark red, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not purple. Oh, just thought they were trolling with that. <laughs> I totally did. I literally skipped that exact part. I was like, oh, parentheses. Okay, well, that's, that's not relevant. That's really interesting. I bet that says something psychologically. Purple is red. Hmm. Didn't know that. Do you use anything to tame your beards? I trim my beard regularly. Uh, usually I just use a... Uh, I use a beard trimmer, and I also use a straight razor. Not a straight razor, but like a, uh, what do you call it? Not a disposable razor, just a nice razor razor. I use razor, beard. Razor. I also use beard oil on occasion, so I guess so. I get about a haircut once a month. That's it. I would never cut Essence Scatter. I find it weird that you 
don't do anything to your beard on your own and you just leave it to the hair cutting guy. It doesn't really grow that fast. Okay. That makes sense, though. It's never really out of control. I get some cutting. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I get some cutting icefall regent. Uh, sure. That seems fine. We already have a dungeon geese. Yeah, just to prove. All right, cool. All right, what's our mana base going to be? Um, wow, two swamps. No, just just 17, 17 islands. Mono blue. I also don't mind having body double somewhere, but... Michael plus Frank, one cuisine for the rest of your life. Sky's the limit. Real answers only. I'd be real simple. I'd probably just say pizza. Well, it's a cuisine. Pizza's not really... Oh, a Italian. Cuisine. Italian cuisine, then. Um, ooh, that is tough. Nope, not for me. Um, I think I might go Asian. I could see that. I feel like there's a lot of variety in Asian food. I mean, there's basically three real, real choices for that question that you can expect, right? And it's going to be like Asian, Mexican, or Italian. Yeah, you can just be like, yeah, you can be like, hey, I'll get, I'll just say pizza as my only meal. Uh, but for this pizza, I'll have a pizza with a burrito on it. That's what I'll, <laughs> that's, a, that's my one topping. Oh, this hand looks great. Let's see how many times we can get people with our... All our... by myself by Celine Dion, our hero by Mariah Carey. Honest answer only, please. I can't even think of hero off the top of my neither, head. Neither can I. All by myself. I know that jam, so I guess by default I'd have to say... All yesterday by... was Carbonara just... Day? I thought yesterday was Brio Day. Did they just skip their first turn? Did they just discard a swamp? What's going on right now? Okay, when you say Asian food, nobody's including Russian food. Get real. Come on now. <laughs> Brian, what's going on, buddy? So, wait. they I don't know what's going on right now, but... What is this clip? What is this clip? Oh, we just win the game. I guess a Night Vale Spectre is good enough to win the game. No, why does double drops. cheese count as three of my four? I don't understand why extra cheese. Why? <laughs> Stop linking that. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you say? I just didn't have any lands. That's why we won. Did you see they discarded a land, right? No. They did? Yes. They skipped their first land, and they discarded a swamp. What? Yeah. Did they, like, keep a hand where they're trying to reanimate something? But then why even... did they discard yeah. a swamp? I don't know. That's weird. No, I think they just F6 their first turn, and then they felt they had the uh, the shame scoop. Maybe. I'd go a stoner cuisine. My food would never be boring. Okay, well, I'm not sure if that's really uh, a cuisine, per this se. This is my peanut butter and jelly and egg sandwich. I was a peanut butter and egg, egg, egg sandwich once, Greg. Gross. Can you milk me? Guys, they were trying to reanimate their swamp. Hello. Good point. Good point. Was he... God, he's so licky. Yeah. Fatal Roundhouse? Admittedly, for the first time and as long as I can remember, I am very, really, really looking forward to Dominaria drafting. Yeah, that set looks like... It's almost like a cube. It looks really fun. All the cards seem really unique and powerful. It's not full of, like, vanilla nerds and dirtlers. Everything looks good. That set looks great. Wow. This is a bold strategy, Cotton. Look at all these things we're getting to do. I don't even like weed, but one time I wrapped a boiled Italian sausage in a tortilla filled with melted cheddar and chipotle Tabasco, and it was amazing. Um, I'm going to put this in the graveyard. I don't so want... So you made a burrito. <laughs> a sausage burrito. A sassy burrito? God, we don't even have any plays here, man. We have creatures that all need other creatures to exist. And we have no counter spells. So. How do I feel about sagas? I think the saga ideas are cool. I think they're going to be cards that prove to be more powerful than they look. Because they honestly look very underwhelming. But. I think they're probably going to be a lot better than they look. So.
Don't draw me a... Don't, don't give me another island, because that means there's at least four islands in a row. Which is just stupid. Cast to you. I'm just going to bounce your swamp, because reasons. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good Larry. That's opposed to a bad Larry, I guess. How many Larrys? How many Larrys? Way to take the wind out of my sails, Mike. <laughs> also, I think you should take that burrito and add eggs and potatoes to it. And then basically, you got yourself a nice breakfast burrito. That's true. Wait, so have you ever ordered that Hungry We totally did order that Hungry Howie's last night, Elk Tears. Thank you so much for your spiritual con contribution. <laughs> I like Search for Us content because it feels like we're never going to draw land again. This is three lands we've had to mill with Search. Oh, Cryptic commanded its torrential gear, Hulk. Hunter, how are you going to act, buddy? They have six cards in hand? What are they? What's going on? Interesting. The more MSG, the better. That's what I say. Hunter. Now you're licking my pants. Stop licking. Is that what you say? Alright, now I do want a seventh land so we can either adept and then bounce this guy. That's even better though. Boy, I, 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 I. I choose you. I know Steenie Stunner for a moment was making a PB&J on Ego Waffles. Well, that actually sounds legit. Yeah, it sounds good. Why do you keep killing my things, man? God, he's killing all the wrong creatures. He's killing all my Dirtles. A 2-2 Flyer, a 2-2 Ground Guy. Licking problem. Lick, lick. God, Hunter does have a looking problem. Here we go. Oh, that's fine. That thing can't even do anything. Um. One, two, three, four. Actually, we will put this in the graveyard because we're going to flip as Kanta anyway. So if we hit another land, we did not hit another land. What we can do... Well, I wanted eight lands so we can Cryptic Command and Dungeon Geist, but we can take a hit from... What we can do instead is on your draw step. Vendillion Click. Why does your stream lives keep popping in? I don't know. It's really obnoxious. Let's see what you got. Joke's on you. I'll discard my whole hand. Colgon's Command deals two damage to our creature or player. Yeah, I'm definitely not letting that resolve. Can't target spell, draw a card. Torrential Gearhawk also blocks Hazard all day. That's a dude. Young Pyromancer and Dreadbore. So you can actually play Pyromancer and then play Dreadbore. I think we should get rid of the Dreadbore here. Yeah. Alright. Young PZ. Nope, you don't show me the, the Young PZ. You just show me the Dreadbore that I shipped. That's good. That's nice. Well, he played it anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Take five. That's not going to do anything here. It's 
Seems good. We have nine power and flyers on board. It's very nice. Uh, I'm just going to take two here. Yeah. If you have a burn spell or any removal spell, you can just target this guy with it anyway and kill it. So I might as well block here. That's a good point, actually. Right? Like, I mean, if you have a, a, a two damage spell, it's going to kill this guy anyway. All right. That was weird. I just got the Young Pyromancer. And nothing happened. All right. So we have, now we have Torrential Gearhook with Cryptic Command and Pack Navigation. And that's how the game ends. You know what's funny? When they target this guy and try to kill it, we can actually Nimble Obstructionist the trigger so that it doesn't die. Oh, yeah. Mono blue. Like you do. Hey man, you mind if I eat this? That dollar bill? Yeah. No, man, go for it. Alright. Alright, I didn't do it. God, he's so weird. You guys ever have a best friend and you're like, how did I get... To this place in my life where this person is my best friend. How did that happen? <laughs> you guys ever get there? And you just look at your life and you're like, mistakes were made. I love mono black devotion in in cube, Axel. Uh, I have no I have no problem with drafting the mono black devotion deck. This was definitely not a stipulation. This deck turned out real sweet. Although Mono Blue could be a stip. Yeah, if anyone wants to donate it for a Mono Blue stip right now, now's the chance. We're already halfway through it. Oh man, one land in this hand is golden. You're right. So I guess we keep it, right? I'd probably be Mulligan. Yeah, I know you would, but what would I do? You guys owe me a stiff draft. If Mike eats that dollar bill, I'll call it even. Wow. <laughs> I think I'd rather just do a stiff draft, honestly. Mull, Sneep, live the dream. You think what? Hey, should I? Let me know. If, what do I do? I wish you could have polls in Twitch chat. I could be like, what's the, here's a poll. You can do that. Well, you can do it. Not like in, not like in the client though. It's got to be like, uh, like with a bot, you know? Greed is a sin, Frank. Played the, the Masters 25 lotto and got a Jace. Woo, boy. I mean, any second land hits a third land, right? Probably. So close. Treat Mike like a cat and spray him with water. Yeah, that's not a poll. That's just, that's just life. So refreshing with the fan going. That actually probably was pretty refreshing. I can imagine uh, just a little spray of water and a, and a fan going is pretty much where you want to be. Oh no. Don't know who talked. Don't know. Who, I don't even know who talked to you. Maybe she just gets lonely because you don't talk to her anymore. Everybody gets lonely because they don't get talked to anymore. Licking problem. Why don't you spray it yourself and find out? Well, the fan is pointing at Michael. All right, I'll do it. I'll, I'll aim it myself. Oh, that's nice. That's like a. It's like a. Like a hot summer day. Oh, 
Honest question, have we sprayed Mike with Dye Mountain Dew yet? Not yet. He's still he's still waiting for it. Opponent said an ex exuberant howdy, so I'll, I'll reply with a uh, equally excited hey. So as not to be weird. Beautiful chicken, arc trail, a braid, and abbot of Carol keep. I feel like we take a braid here. Arc trail is a sorcery. And we can just block, and it's not very good against any of our other cards. Sure. Our braid also kills Azor's Gateway. I'm gonna screen cap this because they don't actually let you see what they don't actually show you what's in your opponent's hand. You just have to kind of remember. This is really tops like a lash out, and they're like, "Oh, how nice." Oh god. Oh, this is they had beautiful chicken mana. I forgot about that. I thought they play land this turn. They did not. So What was that noise? You hear? Let me take on trash maybe. It's Friday. Play with something in the trash. Wow, he's like the loudest trash. Wildly. It's extremely loud if he's doing that. So they just kill this. We get a, a thing. It doesn't come back ever. I think we just got to take a chicken hit. I think this is actually pretty bad. This is probably a bad matchup for us. Yeah. Discard two cards or a land card. Well, it's going to be a land card. Why <laughs> you almost caused my death with that Carnex Long Carn video? I was chewing my food and watched it, and I nearly choked to death laughing. Matthew, sorry, buddy. Not the intention, but the laughter. What a way to go. Abbot of Carol Keep. All right. All right. Hit a mountain. That's a freebie mountain. So we need to have Arc Trail, Mountain, and two other cards in hand. Good to know. Unfortunately, cards like Shrine of Burning Rage are probably death sentences for us, unless we can bounce them. Uh, yes, put you in the graveyard. <sighs> Frost Titan. Come on, buddy. Give me that big juicy chicken. Didn't do do didn't do do. Oh my God, Barman ATL. Why? I know this exactly what this is gonna be. <laughs> oh God, it's so awkward. I don't want to ever watch it again. We'll see the other one. This one? Mm -hmm. This is the the Karn Exile and Karn. I don't know if you saw this actually. So turn three Karn, like you do in modern. <laughs> they exiled their own Karn. Whoops. Whoops is right. <laughs> Alright, one damage to chicken. Oh, there's hundreds in that shot. Okay. You're Ooh, right. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think we're dead here. Yeah. Four. Oh, five. boy. And then this is like nine. <laughs> I think this is actually lethal. Yes. Absolute gasoline. And that was our opponent exiling their Karn. Like, we can block here, but then they just deal nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. That is overly game. Alright, so what do we bring in against the red deck? Probably Silent Departure. Bounces their idiots. Phantasm Image, probably not that great here. Icefall region, probably decent. Threads of Disloyalty. Yeah. We didn't really see that many creatures with two or less, though, is the problem. They have Abbot of Carol Keek and the 
uh, Carol Ag- Abbot of Carol Keep. Carol Keep. Oh, la, 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 la. That's the only thing I. Uh... Hearing you laughing as you're about to lose is really unsettling. I don't. I don't know what that means. Oh God. I like Aether Sphere Harvester. Do we have enough creatures to crew it though? I don't think so. No? Uh. I mean, we have 10. Mm hmm. Plus mind control, plus bribery. That's 12. We don't have any early creatures, though. What? We don't have any early creatures. I mean, three life is three life, right? Yeah, we'll bring in this guy, and we'll bring in Harvester. That seems fine, actually. Oh, uh, I actually uninstalled Fortnite because someone gifted me PUBG. And also because three I got three separate emails from Epic Games telling me my account had been locked because of too many, uh, you know, attempts to log in. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm done. If you can't get your shit under control, if you can't make it so that I, I don't get more than two... Uh, hacking attempts uh, uh, on my account where I don't even get to log in because someone else is trying to log into it and I can't, then I just don't need to play this game. It's just not even worth my time. And that was my feeling on, on Fortnite. Is Fortnite free? Yeah. And you can you can definitely tell why. It's like the most popular thing right now, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it though? It's like constantly number one on Twitch. Like I'll wake up in the morning and I'll have an email from Epic Games and it says, your account has been temporarily locked for too many login attempts. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then I can't log in for 120 hours. And I'm like, all right, that's reasonable. That's a completely reasonable thing. Man, these lands have been great. Yeah, I haven't even logged in. I haven't even tried to log in. I was just like, I haven't played this game once, and it's already at a point where I don't even care about, like, I'll have to do more work just to actually get my account back than is even worth it. Like, I don't think we can beat this match, unfortunately. I think they're just way too aggressive for us. Yeah, it's a pretty bad matchup. We just don't have any long-term answers for these creatures that come down. And also, stuff like that never happens to my Steam account. I'm just like, wow, I log up for an Epic Epic Games account, and three times in the first week, I uh, have them... Wow, Fortnite flavor fail. They should have locked you out of your account for 336 hours, which is a Fortnite. I guess hope you don't have a braid. Might as well gain three life, right? Yeah, seems good. I mean, like, whenever you have a chance to gain the three, you might as well gain the three because you don't get that many opportunities. Soul Scar Mage. Oh, you're going to four this guy. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I 
Give me a land so I can bribery this this gentleman. That is not a land. It's a decent draw though. I ran out of ticks to do modern cube just to live vicariously through you. Feel free to do so. I wholeheartedly support that. I like being able to Vendillion click them and put a card on the bottom of their Librario. And then we can bribery that if it's the best card. Like if they have an Inferno Titan. That'd be good, right? Wow, that's pretty sad. It's really good right now. It's not bad. Can we also talk about how good Inferno Titan is and how much I hope you have it in your deck? Zealous Conscripts is pretty good. These are all very good creatures. Mm -hmm. Yep, hit a land for a goblin. Oh, P and Karen Alar, sure. Not a land. Nope. All right. Yeah, this game is pretty much over, I think. $5 a month and the occasional $50 donation is actually cheaper than playing Magic. I agree with you. Probably correct. Unfortunately, says the guy playing Magic. Cthulhu Penguin, I actually found a comment of yours today, and it made me laugh out loud, and I forgot what it was. I forgot what I was looking at when I found it. What is going on here, I wonder? What do they have? Gore House, Rabble Master, Murderous. Murderous. Okay. Good call. That's what it was. Murder out. Murder out. <laughs> Peace. Oh, the old post combat round master. A classic. All right. So, with our last card is murderous. That's good to know. After after all their cards are gone, this is what we have left. I really need a land. I'm actually going to attack in hopes of finding one. Come on, one time and land. It's not the worst. Oh, you have to have actually red mana for that. Yeah, it's not like... Wow, what a terrible card. <laughs> Good lord. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're actually at 3 right now. That's really sad. Actually, this is lethal. No, it's not lethal. We go to we go to one if they pump their their guy twice, which I'm pretty sure is just what you do, right? Actually, pump the guy once and then play Rival Master. Leaves me at two. Oh, you actually... It's only two mana to pump? I thought it was three. What am I thinking of? I think I'm thinking of P and Kieran Alar's ability. Yeah, that's yeah. good. All right. This game was... This match wasn't even close. I don't think that match is favorable for us. No, they're just too fast. Right, and like all their creatures do really valuable things. And even if you bounce them, like it doesn't matter. So...
I accept that as a bad matchup. We should also just play the 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 red deck at some point. We haven't really been open lately, though. What did you say? Like the red deck hasn't seemed open. You're not open. What does that mean? You know what it means. I don't. Oh, Cthulhu Penguin! I remember what it was. I was looking... I forgot where I was looking, actually. But uh, it was the image... I think you sent it. It was an image of Mike as Butterfree in a bounce house. Do you remember that? Does that make sense? His hand Wait, is what? Amazing. It was, a, you, it was you as Butterfree in a bounce house. That sounds confusing. You're confusing. This is probably a keep. This is definitely a keep. I didn't even I didn't even ask your pin. Butter blossom. I forgot where the link was though. We also have a suspend card. <laughs> I like that we can nimble obstructionist their uh, their their draw three. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Cthulhu Penguin. If you can link it in the chat, that'd be amazing. <laughs> God, look, Luke, what's going on, buddy? We are we are playing mono blue something. Wait, how do we nimble obstruction it? We counter the last counter. When the last counter comes off, it says. Uh, when the last counter was removed, cast without paying its mana cost, you you counter that ability. Okay. So the last counter never comes off a second time, so it never happens again. Look at this beauty. Wow. I'm just gonna put it on the screen so you guys don't miss out. There you go. Look at this beauty. <laughs> beauty free is more like it. Am I right? God, he's so so mag so magnificent. Oh, our opponent's like, I need some red mana. So. Pretty sure we just play this guy. Oh, lightning bolt. Flush out. Nothing. All right. Survives. Lives another day. Nothing. Mon. I don't know what you just said. God, they did have a lightning bolt. Seriously? Did you just top deck lightning bolt? Come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. No, that's a good one. Our hand is great. I have four cards. They have four cards. We have four spells. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Whenever you're streaming and Mike isn't around, you should put that image in the spot where he'd sit. That's a good idea. Don't do me like that. My user account has only three update uploaded images. Mike Butterfree, Mutter Blossom, and then we posted for Star Sailing, a story of Space Booty with Frank starring the sexy robot sack. Oh my god, Cthulhu Penguin, those are amazing. I guess we just Vend Vendillion clicky here. Oh, they're gonna do something EOT. Oh, they're second, second. We're second maining it here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna counter that. You don't need these cards, man. Um, I actually don't think we want this, which is strange. I forgot about that image. That's a good one. Do 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 do
You just bounce this. I don't I think it only matters here. I'm never gonna dance again. Bribery is a good card, yeah. Gonna counter your inside vision. What's the other one what? Oh. Uh, no, there's one more. Right here. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Oh that's a but that's a butterfree bitter blossom. All right, here we go. At the beginning of your room of time counter. Okay. Then this one happens, which is when the last time counter is removed. That one we're going to nimble obstructionist. Bagok. Arise, chicken. Chicken, arise. <laughs> There's nothing like preventing your opponent. If you, if you can't draw three cards, preventing your opponent from drawing three cards is the best feeling. Why didn't I attack with this guy? I don't know. Magic's hard. I got real excited. I forgot it had things. There's a chat going on. You guys are having a good time. Mike just pulled his microphone closer to his body. Oh my god. You know, it's now it's a command. Oh, they're gonna are they gonna bend in and click us? No. They just bribery here? There's no way, right? I love when we can hear Mike's body. Well wow. <laughs> why is this a thing? I think bribery would have been correct because they clearly didn't have a counter spell. Why? Because they would have countered our nimble obstructionist. That's a cycle ability, bro. Uh... You don't think that a cycle counter spell? Like a lot of stifle. Mike's shirt is matching Frank's beard. Here comes the, here comes the any click. They can just see the guy. Yeah, that seems fine. You're gonna play it anyway. We got bribery mind control for our hand is gas. Mike and I shop at the same uh, beard and face store. No, we don't. Shut up, Michael. Don't we, though? Who's that guy at the bottom? Who? The circle man. Uh, I think his name is Clash. Yeah. I'm never gonna dance again. Mike's shirt is made of Frank's beard, so it makes sense. Why they take? They took the bribery. Oh, we could have cast it. Yeah. Shut up, nerd. Well, it's still in our in our library. They didn't block. I recently took up watching The Office quality show. Indeed. Oh man, way to go, Luke! Way to go. Mike and I shop at the same beard and face store. Oh, boy. That's a quote that needs to be said. You know the best part about bribery? It said it's on the bottom of the library now. So if we get to that late of the game. Got him. It's ours now. Wow, they just killed our mold drifter. How rude. Can you believe that? There was a sweat and then the epic. Oh, we get to play Frosty now. Frosty the Titan was a very frosty boy. With a corn cob pipe and a button nose, he was really frosty, yeah. Frosty the Frost Man. He was cold as he could be. He tapped your things and attacked for six, and then it was lights out. I'm going to tap your Cascade Bluffs every day. Get in there. Do your, do your job. Frank, do I want to watch you or finish the last season of The Office? Um, Probably watch me just because you can only do that at certain times. You can watch The Office anytime. 
I have to tell you, the transition from watching on YouTube to watching you on Twitch is hard. I keep trying to fast forward your opponent's slow plays. Apologies for that. I wish I could do something about it. Unfortunately, I can What's that guy's powers? Uh, Sonic stuff? Mm -hmm. He's a super villain. This is a genius level intellect. He can also utilize Sonic technology to various uses. He's a what? He's a super villain, apparently. Yeah, he's a Spider Man villain. What's the difference between a villain and a super villain? I think they're all super villains. If you have powers, you're a super villain. That'd be my that'd be my guess. This is a dungeon geist. And a button nose and two eyes made out of gold. Wow, gold eyes? Look with your golden eyes. I am not actually stoked about the Spyro revamp, and that's not because I don't like Spyro. It's just because I haven't played enough Spyro to really appreciate it, so I don't really know. I played Spyro back in the day. Is that right? Was it? So is Lex Luthor not a supervillain? Hmm. No, Lex Luthor would probably be a villain, right? Let's look it up. Super like let's look up villain versus supervillain. Super villain versus villain, what's the difference? Uh, fantasy, optimistic supernatural powers. Super villain is a derived term of villain. As nouns, the difference between super villain and villain is that super villain is a fantasy fictional criminal or evildoer, often with supernatural powers or equipment. Um, okay, so equipment, sure. I, I, I would say that Lex Luthor in power armor is a super villain. a lot of things we can do here. Redirect the spell sky again. Man, this spell sky getting a lot of action. a lot of things we're doing right now. I'm taking you trying to GP booster, GP booster tomorrow, which wish me luck. Hey, Luke, good luck, buddy. Hope you win it all. Let us know in the chat if you crush it. Right now, let us know right now if you crush it. Not in the future. Not at some future time. I want to know right now if you're going to win the event. Oh boy, here we go. Torrential Gear Hulk. Get back your electrolyze so you can shoot this guy and something else, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. <sighs> Torrential Gear Hulk is good, but you might be dead if you do that. Yep, it is Torrential Gear Hulk. Electrolyze one of the Frost Titans. Actually, it gets countered, but it doesn't matter, I guess. I guess you can compulse it. No, you can't compulse a research. This is actually pretty good because Electrolyze just gets countered, so. And we get to mind control our own Torrential Gear Hulk, but then they redirect, but that'll take you two life. Redirecting the Frost Titan takes you two life. So you're basically, I think you're, I think you're dead here. We can mind control the Gear Hulk. So you're going to go to three if you want to counter both of these abilities but then you still like you still have to block this guy i guess you block here block here and i don't know that would have been good i 
I guess we do this first because if they redirect to Dispel Skite, we get to keep the Dispel Skite, and then we do get to tap down something. So that actually ends up winning us the game. Uh, if we mind control the collector, they're going to give it to Spell Skite. Either way, they're going to give it to Spell Skite, so. But now they can't redirect our tap, which means we just win because we tap down Torrential Gear Hulk or the Flyer. I guess, yeah, we win. Yeah, that seems fine. You stabbed on the Flyer. Well, either way, they're gonna have to block Frost Titan. So it depends on what we want to kill. Yeah, we'll kill. We'll kill. We'll kill the uh, torrential gear Hulk. And they take five in the air. What's the Cabal Stronghold? Let's see if I can find that. What comes in against them? Hmm. Whole lot of nothing. I feel like we can take Phantasmal Image out. I kind of want to bring Chasm Skulker in. Speculation time. When will they stop printing magic cards? Uh, probably not until they stop making money. You got a ways to go, I think. I brought in Tower End. Yeah, I don't think Cabal Stronghold is going to be in MTG Bot yet. <laughs> Seems a little early for that. All right, I assume it's a black card, though. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Hunter, stop. Is that the land? The black Stronghold card? does sound like a land. Oh, the uh, added black for each swamp you control? Oh, it's just like a... It looks like a Cabal Coffers. Um, yeah, but it just costs one more to activate. Yeah, it doesn't make black. It's a little expensive. Sand is amazing. Still probably good. If mono black is good. Alright, well no first turn Ancestral Vision, which is nice. I think we still Riftwing Cloudscape here, even if we don't hit a land. Saving the Serum Vision for the Tower End, so we can go turn 4, turn 5, make a 2-2 two -two immediately. What up, no beats? Good to see you, buddy. Frank, if you the opportunity, would you ever want to do coverage of some kind? I've, I've, I love, I always love doing coverage. I've done Wizards coverage. I've done Hearthstone coverage. Um, I enjoy it every time. I would definitely take any opportunity to do it. Now we might search because I got this guy. And I do want to hit a land because now we have Night Vale Spectre. And two eyes made out of coal. Uh, you can go in the graveyard, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Wow. Here we go again. <laughs> Funny joke! Gotta do it slower, man. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. What? How, how slow should I do it, you think? You gotta build up the funny. And then end with the joke. Okay, can you show me? Funny joke! Who wins? Thanos of the Infinity Gauntlet or Nicol Bolas of the Psy of the Shinobi? I would say Thanos of the Infinity Gauntlet. Like, he can remake Nicol Bolas into anything, so... I really wanted that Night Vale Spectre, but then you had to go and be a biscuit... Yeah, how do you actually be the Infinity Gauntlet? How does that work? You don't. You just look like a biatch. Biatch! So is that movie actually just going to be the end of the Marvel Universe? Obviously. You're the end of the Marvel Universe. Funny joke. They can kill our guy. Yeah, what kind of car does Yoda drive? A Toyota. Oh, God. Oh, look at this guy. Look at old Reflector Mage McGee over here. I didn't even had white cards in this deck. What's even happening right now? Did Thor defeat Thanos when he had an Infinity Gauntlet, though? No, probably not. Cause that's, a, that's a different ball game. You're a different ball game? Yeah, I am. You're a funny joke. It's going to be an island. You ready? Boom! It was an island. I'll put you on top and I'll put this island in the garbage can. I'm actually surprised how obnoxious Spellskite is. The hell is an infinity gauntlet explained for the non-nerds? You're watching a magic stream, buddy. Google infinity gauntlet. Your answer will be... It will all be revealed. It was a gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet is a gauntlet that Thanos made to contain all six of the Infinity Stones. Uh, when ha when you have all of them, you can basically uh, rearrange the universe in any way you see fit. Why wow, you just stole my Talrand? Why was really rude? We'll have to steal it back. I don't know how we're gonna do that. They got a spell skite. Oh, true. Yeah, oh, true is right. This is really awkward, man. This one spell sky is really problematic. Oh, we know it's going to be a... No. <sighs> Funny joke. You're a gem. <laughs> Got him. Oh, boy. Your mama gem. A beautiful one, and don't let anyone tell you are a beautiful gem. Electrolyze. So you kill my guy, you draw a card, you make a 2 2. Seems good. Talran we boarded in became a liability. That is really sad. Have I had I seen all these creatures, I probably would have kept the. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game here. I think. This deck looked a lot different in the game one. The game one, he says. I swear to God, if you're another land. We have nothing to get back. It's real sad. All right. Okay. That was sad. Bring in this guy now that I've seen a million other creatures. Take out Talrand. I don't want you to steal that guy. Bring in Phantasmal Image again. All those guys cost three or more, not two or more. Reflector Mage, Spell Queller. I guess we could take a Spell Skite with this. Meh. 
I mean, Spellskite literally shuts down all of other cards. It shuts down Aether Adept. It shuts down Cryptic Command. It shuts down Dungeon Geist. It shuts down Riffling Cloudscape, Mind Control, Frost Titan. They probably won't draw it. Wow, that is very hopeful. Funny joke. Funny joke. There you go. There you go. You got to roll it a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking about keeping the island on top. I forgot about the search. It's, I feel like it's pretty trivial in the position we're in, but... Probably get rid of Lay Claim. It's pretty slow. Yes, you're pretty slow. Wow. Is that you? No. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you're a liar. Am I? Yeah. Oh, Okay. I don't know, man. I kind of just want this again, but... Maybe we're fine. Maybe we just submit. Cross our fingers. Yeah, this hand seems great. Funny joke. With no more Talrand, we have no reason not to see our ambitions here. Looking for a third land. Actually, oh god. I don't think we can keep either of these. Nope. It's so bad. I really want Cryptic Command too. I guess we got things to do though. Still on a land. What's Tarask? What is that? Tarask? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a D&D &D thing. All right. Nerds! Oh, that was a good draw. I like good draws. We're just going to pass here. Funny joke. Dang it. Why you gotta be like that? Magic the Gathering? Come on, you gotta be like that. I really don't want to miss a land drop here. Whatever. We got a counter spell. Also, this guy comes down next turn, so we'll just bounce their land drop. Whatever. That sounds like a funny joke. You're a funny joke. That's rude. You're a rude gentleman. You're actually a rude monster. I just wanted to be nice to you. Why? You know, now that I think about it, I don't know. Dairy Gaz Reincarnated. Legendary creature, dragon, flying haste trample, four black, green, red, seven mana. Flying trample haste. If, if, it, would, if it would die, instead exile with three egg counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Dairy Gaz is exiled with an egg counter on it, remove an egg counter from it. Then if Dargos has no encounters to turn into the battlefield, that seems really annoying. That does not seem like a funny joke.
This is my Vandalian click. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Mike is just a butterfly in the trampoline house. He's not a bad guy. Is that true? I don't know, Dave. <sighs> Boy. Reflector Mage, Jace Architect of Thought, and Banishing Light. Jace is probably the card that's most obnoxious here. Yeah. Again, we'll have to clip this because they don't show you the cards. counter this guy you do yeah we're gonna bribe her we're gonna dissipate we're gonna dispel this dissolve we got it nailed it keep it on top now it's funny because if we didn't miss another land we could have actually uh, had a land for the turn. Phantasmal image, the Riftwing Cloud Skate. And bounce two of their lands, but. Their Path Exile? No. Okay. All right, so we know five of your cards. You got one off of the... You have six of your cards. You got one off the, the Vanilla Click. Farmland. Unfortunately, they can just bounce something with their stupid Reflector Mage, but... That taps them out. And then we can Phantasmal Image Reflector Mage, I guess? Oh, I see. Bashing Light. Fight Montero is my wrestling persona. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Funny joke. Alright, so now we're Banishing Light. And you played a Scalding Tarn. So we know one, two, three, four, five. Five of your six. Yeah, five of your six cards. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. The strength is so real. Finally. Finally, Bribbery. Finally. You got Spell Queller, Banisher Priest. Come on, you gotta have something good here, right? Sower of Temptation, Restoration Angel. None of these cards are any good. You just got a bunch of dirty dudes. Dirtily nerds. Your deck looks great, though. Um, Dungeon Geist, I guess? Why wouldn't we get Resto so we can bounce oh, yeah, something sure. else with this? Yeah, that seems fun. Yeah, I guess we'll get a resto. Wish we attacked first, but... I think we just bounce this. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, if they want to replay it again, that's cool. Kiki Jiki. I don't actually think we care about that. <laughs> Not anymore we don't, because we have half his combo. Oh yeah, there's no obviously no Pestermite in the deck, and they don't like they're pretty far from. All right, copy again. Uh, I think we want to take Reflector Mage because then they can just bounce their own Restoration Angel. Yeah. So that's pretty good. All right, so we know six out of the seven cards in your hand now. Axel, have a good night, buddy. My computer is somehow crashing, and I gotta get some virus. Bye. <laughs> All 
All right, what did they play? Nothing. They played Rugged Prairie. All right. So Rugged Rugged P is gone. You have five or seven cards. Excuse me. Ooh, cycled rugged, cycled farmland. Banishing light on resto. Ancestral Vision. Sure, Lightning Bolt? Lightning Bolt and Ancestral Vision were the two cards you drew? That'd be pretty good. That'd be real good. Otherwise, you take eight. So. And it was. All right. I like Phantasm on this guy, though. That's pretty okay. Should do it on the angel, actually, after you attack. I think that's probably better. So, copy angel. Yep, blink the only non angel target. Yep. Bounce the bluffs. And play Azor's Gateway. I'm just packing Gation up. Yeah, that's pretty good. I feel like we're in control here. I don't know if they're going to live to see this Ancestral. We know one, two, three, of four of the cards in their hand. Kiki Jiki, Banishing Light, Island, Plains, and then they have two other cards. <sighs> Axel, we do appreciate the dedication. Biovisionary is correct. A braid, this guy. Okay, when if we counter that? No, because he's still banishing light, so they're gonna get rid of one dude, no matter what. So we're gonna pack to the banishing light, because it doesn't actually target until it hits the battlefield. So we can actually pack to the banishing light now. Put them to two. Um, probably getting rid of you. I will pay the mana. God, what if I miscounted? <laughs> Oops. What up, Nazgad? Oh, that is a sixth land for our Torrential Gear Hulk. With the Dissolve in the Graveyard. That's pretty good. I feel like we won this game. They have five cards. What do we know? We know no more Banishing Lights. We know Island, Plains, Kiki-Jiki. So we still know five of uh, three of their five cards. So that's going to get rid of both of these guys. With the two cards. So the two cards they drew have to deal with both of these. Good games. Sweet. Fantastic image, OP. It's pretty good. It's OP, Michael. All right. We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That was a pretty sweet mono blue draft, even though we lost to the mono red deck. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you like the content, and we'll see you next time.